Hello and what is up my friends, Thunderbob here, and tonight we are checking out another new Steam release. This is Small Land Survive the Wilds by Merge Games. This came out March 29th of this year, and uh, currently has very positive reviews. It's in early access. Um, the developer was kind enough to send me a key to check this out. I've had it on my wish list for a little while now. Um, and it is one of those uh, grounded type games, you know, uh, uh, big adventure and a tiny scale. And it's multiplayer, it's like a sandbox survival game, kind of like Grounded, kind of like Valheim, something like that. Except you are in a huge world. And um, yeah, I love these kind of games, like I'm a big fan of uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and that, I don't know, there's just not enough games that utilize that big world feeling. And the trailer looks really cool, there's like some flight options, it seems a bit more like... Um, I don't know, more fantasy-based, though it did look like there's still real-world objects in the environment, so we're going to jump in and play, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes just to get our feet wet in this, and if I enjoy it, maybe I'll do a series down the road or see if I can get somebody to do some co-op. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in. And uh, just to show you, um, I've got this set for 3440 by 1440. It looks like Ultra White is supported out of the box. It defaulted everything to Ultra. I did up the frame limit, it starts at 60, I bumped up to 144, that's the monitor I'm using, we'll see if we can get that high of a FPS. And then I did turn DLSS on, and I'm very happy to see that, I'm always happy when a game supports that. Um, I'm an NVIDIA user for the most part, and it's a very big benefit if you're an NVIDIA user. Let's go ahead and jump in. And it looks like you create your character to start with. Not the most detailed in the world, but kind of like a cartoony look to it. Male strenuous. Male Reuben. Man, if my name was Reuben, I'd be feeling real bad right now. So you can have like the male body, but then the female face, kind of like interchangeable. I kind of like where they just give you the option to, to do whatever you want. Um, I think it just opens up more possibilities. Pick some ears. This looks like bad ears, right? Go with the simple ones. I just made my character on Baldur's Gate, and that feels a little bit more detailed than this. But good on them for giving you some options, at least. Some of these games, it's like, like in Grounded, isn't it just like, pick one of these, I think, six characters. Look, he's from the Mirror Universe. That's the evil guy. Gonna go. He looks like an like an elf. I, I feel, feel like elves should not have facial hair. Oh, beard color. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have a beard. Antenna. Yeah, I like those. Look like little eyeball stalks. Not a lot of hair options here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm kind of like a dark blonde these days. I grew up and my hair was... When I was born, my hair was practically white. Uh, it was like so light blonde, but it, as I've grown older, it's gotten darker and darker. I have kind of like teal blue eyes. Not that I have to create something that looks like me, but look, they look like, like reptile eyes. Actually, that's pretty close. You can make it purple. Look, it's like a night elf. There we go. That's my dude. And I think you have the option of joining a, a server or creating your own. I might create my own just for the purposes of this video, but I'll probably try online later too. And it looks like there are people playing, though none of these have more than one or two players, which... So it, it could be, let's see, is this including? Yeah, this includes like locked games that presumably you need a password to join. Hmm. Yeah, if we just look at open, here's all the open servers. There's people playing, but it's not exactly... Uh, a huge number of players. Okay. Uh, we're not going to make it online just because for 
I kind of just want to learn this on my own, so I'm not gonna go into like PvP and all that. So you can make it where creatures will not attack you. That that seems like cheating. Heat inventory on death. Yeah. Sickle weather. I'm just gonna leave it at defaults right now, but it's nice that they give you that option, so if you're really good at this, you could bump up creature health to 300%. Creature damage, nourishment loss, fall damage. It's just nice to have those options. So if I hit new world... I wonder if I didn't do that. I guess if... Oh, I think if you've got multiple worlds, you could then just select the one. I'm assuming that's what that, that means. I want to ride a... What is that? A gecko? Blizzard? Intrepid vanguards. Your queen is ill. Gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland. Seek out a cure. Whatever the cost, be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Valdemir's speech to the Vanguard Corp. And does it just drop me right in? Nice. I like where you're like in control very quickly. Let's just look at performance here. In 120 FPS. This is what the LSS set to quality. And it uh, looks pretty clean. I'm not sure what version of DLSS this is running, but uh, that's a f uh, just one of my favorite NVIDIA features. So I'm curious about this FSR 3.0 that's been announced. I can say uh, Grounded is a really good looking game. I feel like right off the bat, like this is not quite as clean and bright and vibrant as Grounded, but it feels maybe in some ways more detailed, more larger okay keep an eye trained over the owl effigies they're scattered throughout and provide useful hints just like zelda your little owl statues right captain Hermie, he will help you in your first days outside the burrow thank you they should just make a, a borrowers game you remember that um i just got something you remember that movie i think it was a movie or was it a show back in like the 80s where they little people who lived like in our houses and like stole stuff and I'm pretty sure it was called the, the borrowers that would make a cool game like this is basically that concept actually but get that license because I don't know I feel like there's a big nostalgia hit these days for that kind of thing if you examine an owl effigy it feels useful pieces of advice it's automatically logged in your compendium press tab you got your compendium. I do feel like the interface feels a little placeholder-ish. Like, it either feels like an early, early game or like an indie game that just couldn't hire a UI guy, which is understandable. I mean, this is probably a smallish team, but uh, some of this feels like it could be uh, a little higher quality. But I mean, everything's here you need. You got your inventory, you got your crafting, with hatchet, wood club, builder's hammer. Decent looking map, actually. And your compendium. That's where all of your stuff goes and codexes. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright, so sh I'm using mouse and keyboard, by the way. Uh, and I am running this on my PC. I've got a RTX 3080 and uh, 10,700K, both overclocked a little bit. Press tab to open the inventory to help keep track of blah blah blah. You can also check which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Okay. I wonder... I would love to um, watch a video or something, or maybe I'll, I'll look into it later, but like on the lineage of survival games, because they all kind of have that same gameplay loop and language to them. Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that's home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths. They're lit by glowing crystal lamps. Okay. Um, you know, thinking back to like early ones, uh, 
you know, I'm wondering how far back they go. Like, is there some common denominator on these? Like, Minecraft is it maybe one of the oldest ones I can think off at the top of my head. Food at the food barracks has become pretty stale. Lucky my sister brought me some insect eggs. My wife can make a pixie omelette. If I click on that, does it? I was wondering if it was blue for a reason. Can I steal your food? Thanks, bro. I still feel like this is kind of like the t tutorial section. Oh, I wanted to steal all that food. Hey, the secret, I'll be with you. I would think that these guys would be, like, afraid of owls, because don't owls eat, like, little, like, rats and bunnies and, like, they're pretty similar in size and scale to those things. Alright, here's where things should get interesting. Like, I love when you get out in the scale. Ooh, it is hitching a lot. Look at the... I probably need to set that cap way lower. It's just all over the place. I think that's a pretty impressive vista, like, I'm not sure if that's, is this all real time, like I can just walk over there and, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I should go introduce myself to Captain Hermie. I'm just gonna, like, talk to these things and I'll go on my oh. Idiom. We can look at it later. Cause I, I want to try to get as far as I can, obviously, in this first video, and I only want to make this like a 20-30 minute video. So. Press M to open up your map. Yeah, we already figured that out. This is Hermes. Her, her knee. M, not N. Greetings, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I'm Captain Hernest. Isn't it Herney? That must be his nickname. Manikabi? But most small folks simply call me Herney. What can I do for you? Can I ask you some questions? Could you craft some armor? Okay. I need to go see Ludwig. I have to bring all the necessary materials. So I just unlocked some crafting stuff. So that just makes, needs fiber, fiber. I don't know if I should waste the fiber I have. Probably wait on that stuff. And uh, we just went through Hurricane Idelia. Uh, I'm playing this Wednesday evening and uh, we're in southwest Florida and it just barely missed us but for whatever reason like the storm is all the way in Georgia and the Carolinas right now but we're still getting these bands of rain like all day given that the hurricane is 300 miles away kind of very interesting I've never experienced that with a hurricane before I did go through Ian last year and that left me like I don't know. It was a bad storm. I have, there's so much stuff to collect here. I gotta say, it, it is a pretty game. Um, I feel like Grounded maybe uses slightly newer tech. Like, the character models, I think, look better in Grounded. And I, I, I haven't beat Grounded all the way through the main story, but I got... Um, I don't know, five to ten hours into it, me and a, a buddy, Lumberjack, played the co-op. Oh, look at that butterfly, that's cool. Hi, butterfly. So... Am I supposed to go talk to this guy? I think so. 
and uh, I, we enjoyed it a lot. I feel like we got pretty far, like we were doing the main story quest, and uh, we just kind of fell off it at some point. I think something else came out, maybe Diablo 4 or something we were playing together, and then we never returned to it. We were playing Raft, maybe that was what it is, we started playing Raft, and that's such a long, like, experience. And we beat Raft, actually, but we never went back. Oh, maybe I'll talk to him, see if he wants to go back and beat that. Um, but we, I feel like we got pretty far into it. Am I going back in the hole again? Who is this? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. The cave we're standing in was its personal lab. The elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment. Okay, so he wants me to go and Okay, so it looks like I got two markers on my mini map here. Oh, I've got like a quest icon. Oh, is that the I think that's the one I just placed. Yeah. So if I right click I can set like a a marker. That one's really far away. I feel like I'm gonna go to this one first. Is this... what is back here? Walnut chest. It looks like a chest made of walnut. In the back there are hinges. Is this the, the one we need the key for, I'm, I presume? Huh. Okay. I don't know why there's all those options when they don't do anything. Can I make a weapon yet? Alright, we got a hatchet. I remember in the Grounded, it felt like it took a lot longer to actually get to crafting. And like, I feel like every single thing we made, it was like fighting an uphill battle to, to get there. So he's wearing some stuff, right? Now I got a club and a hatchet. Uh, I can make a builder's hammer. I I believe that there is um, crafting, like like making houses and stuff, similar to uh, Valheim. And I believe I believe they eventually added that to grounded. Though I don't, we never got to that stage where you were crafting. Um, structures crafting houses or anything but i believe they added that in or maybe we just weren't that far in the game i can't remember i know i've seen some videos pop up on my youtube algorithm where people uh, have built you know houses and whatnot in in grounded i think one thing grounded has like a really really nice lighting system and this it, it's in the same vein, but I don't know. Grounded just has it's an ant. such a really cool look to it. Hi, ant. Are we cool? Oh no, we're not cool. I'm not sure if I should use the axe or the club. Oh, these ants are mad at me. That axe definitely did more damage, but it was much slower. Oh, ladybug. I feel like Grounded is a much slower paced game too, that or we were just bad at it, like, I don't think we managed to kill an ant until like, I don't know, hours into the game. I just remember also, I don't remember if I posted a video of it or not, but we were playing and like running into the big spider for the first time, like, it was, you honestly feel so weak in that game, it was like, run away! I thought there was going to be a cave I could go into. 
Like, that's one thing that that game does well, is the scale and feeling insignificant. At least at the beginning. Like, eventually you get armor and... Definitely the scale is different. Like, in Grounded, I feel like the ants are considerably larger. I've leveled up. My health is also almost gone. Can I... I need to eat something, maybe? Is that... Do I have something to recover? Oh, I got an ant head. Insect egg. Key and heal. I'm not sure how many I need. Nourishment. Key and heal creature. Mushroom. Nourishment. That's just... It says can heal creature. Am I a creature? Simple bandage. Okay. Okay. How do I get that off? Equipment deteriorates with use and will aggressively lose its effectiveness. Make sure to keep your equipment in good. I do feel like it's easier to get started in this for sure, though. I feel like we are playing for an hour or more before we really kind of like grasp everything and grounded we're here like within a minute i'm understanding the crafting like the map makes at least some sense maybe we're just bad at grounded i don't know I think it's a bottle cap. looking at the trailer i wasn't sure if this took place in the modern world like there's a definitely a modern key that's very cool um or if it was like a fantasy world where where people were tiny, but it definitely uh, seems to be in the modern world. Or maybe this is post-apocalyptic. Can I cross the river? Or am I gonna drown? I feel like I'm gonna drown. Look at that water. It's moving fast. We're gonna go over here. I don't want to tempt fate because I'm playing on that the mode where if I die I lose everything, which that's probably a bad idea. I'm digging this right now, though. I mean, obviously, I'm so early in, I can't give a very good assessment of it, but... If you finished Grounded, which definitely, I think, Grounded has a pretty concrete ending to it, like, there, you know, you can keep playing if you want, but that, that game, from my understanding, is pretty story-driven, and there isn't an, an ending to it. So if you're looking for, if you've beaten that, or you're if you're done with it, and you're looking for another one of those games... Uh, this seems to scratch that same itch. Oh man, look at how bad it's hitching. It looks really nice though, all those... The big branches in the background, the, the leaves, the lighting on them. I can't tell if that lighting is real-time and real, or if it's all baked. But it does make you like... Imagine this five years from now, where all of the lighting is real-time ray-traced lighting with realistic, like, uh, ray-traced, path-traced lighting and stuff. Like, we're just at the, kind of the edge of that stuff, you know, being possible with our hardware. I've got a 3080. I really want to get a 4080 eventually, but it's hard to justify that price when so few games actually take advantage of them. Oh, I'm at a giant owl statue. Okay. Okay. Am I gonna have to climb all the way back down? Oh, don't die. Am I on the wrong side of the river again? Okay. I'm curious if I can swim across. I guess we're going to test it. Oh, you lose stamina very, very quickly. I wonder if I would have drowned there if I need to get... I had the wrong weapon out. And these are just carpenter ants. I wonder what happens when you run into... Oh, I need a mandible pickaxe. How do I make more bandages? Oh, shh. Stop it.
I don't appear to know how to make the end. Okay, well, let's just keep moving. Try not to get killed. Ooh. Is that a beehive? Who is that in the nest? See, I feel like I should be able to go in there. That's one thing that's a lot of fun in, uh, that's a bigger ant. That ant's gonna, you gotta eat my lunch. It's a bull ant. Just don't stop swinging. Oh, he's gonna kill me, isn't he? I'm gonna eat health. Yep. I dropped everything. Because I picked that mode like an idiot. Well, we'll find out what happens when you respawn. I lost everything but my, like, my initial starting stuff. And I don't have the stuff to craft again. That sucks. At least it's nighttime now. It looks like you know, a little floating firefly kind of thing. That's cool. I actually really like the night out. I'm the kind of person that, in this type of game, I would I would probably turn off that lose your use your gear when you die just because I ain't got time for that. I'm an adult with a job and family and a daughter and all that jazz. And the idea that uh, I would lose a lot of progress would keep me from playing. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. Features, yuck. So I can make a fire. But what about... how do I heal myself? Hmm. I don't even know where I got those bandages before. Well, let's go venture out at night. That sounds like a great idea to get killed. And here an owl. Which these guys like venerate as a almost like a godly figure when I just wanted to come down and soup and eat me. I don't care if I die. It's just it's a cool idea. Man, it's at night, I think it looks actually better than the day. That's one thing in um I think grounded looks great during the day. I think at night it's almost too dark where it's difficult to really see anything. And my cat is being annoying right now, my apologies. You were fed, Riley. You don't get fed again. Oh, can I go get my stuff back? Oh, there was a bull ant over there. That's, uh... Hmm. We'll try. It's a moth. Do moths? Yeah, they, they seem docile. Okay. Is he, is he gonna try to kill me too? Is everything gonna try to kill me? The answer is probably. Is that a grasshopper? Or just a big ant? Is this like a... that's a grasshopper. It's gonna be like Jurassic Park. And I turn and there's like two more of them and I'm like, clever girl. Right. Oh, I fell in the water anyways. I thought I was gonna die there. I've definitely seen a... Uh, in like the first 30 minutes of playing, I've seen a greater variety of creatures than I definitely saw in Grounded. Is that a... that's a firefly, right? 
Like, they really are just, like, throwing everything at you right away, which is kind of nice. I feel like Grounded takes a little bit too long. I totally went the wrong way to, uh... To get into it. I don't know what the fall damage is like. But how do you okay. Yeah, they can barely swim. Maybe you as you level up. Oh yeah, I forgot I leveled. Do I get uh I get some points? Stat increase. So I get some more health, some more damage. Some more stamina. I want to get my, my corpse back. I'll probably be ending this pretty soon. Like I feel like I've been playing for about 20 minutes, maybe another 5 to 10 minutes. If I can get my body back. And then I, I may give this a try on the Steam Deck, though I'm not... I don't know, this feels like maybe a little too robust of a game for the Steam Deck. So I, I've i surprisingly been able to play um, some new stuff on there. I've, I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 on there, actually. With uh, pretty, pretty decent success. I feel like that is too far. I should probably make a club as well. Oh wait, I had the club. Well, I got two clubs now. Okay, the body should be right over there. that uh, little beehive looking thing. I feel like I went up and around. If that bull ant is over there, I've got enough health maybe I could I could fight him. The dawn ant. How many types of ants are in this little little area? My health is already at 30. Oh I'm out of stamina. Okay. No more ants, no more ants. I'm hungry and thirsty, and my health is low. Alright. I'm gonna try just to get my stuff back and then run away. Oh, we're changing to morning. And he killed me. And I dropped my new stuff. Okay. Well, maybe that's a good time to, to take a break. Uh, I might read up a little bit on crafting your first aid, because... It's not in the crafting menu. And you'd think that would be one of the things they, they like, teach you early on. Like, I'm not seeing... Like, G pulls up the crafting menu, which is just this tab. Maybe I could get the recipes first. But, I feel like that healing with how little health you have in this game... Though this is a survival game. I think the expectation is you go out, you make a little bit of progress, you come back... But, like, I I haven't found... Do I just heal, like, when I come talk to one of these guys? Like, I don't think so. I might I might have to do a little bit of uh, Google Foo and, and see. Because I'm not making much progress right now. But, I mean, it's definitely an intriguing game. It definitely it feels kind of like they grounded, but a little bit more fantasy-ish the world feels a little bit bigger and it feels more of a true open world game whereas grounded feels more like uh, the defined beginning ending kind of experience the combat here also feels like a bit uh, more of a focus like grounded i never felt like the combat 
like you were intended to engage that much with it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die again. Five health. Why won't you die? Build my stamina back up. Build my stamina back up. I wanna throw my club at him. He's gonna kill me, yep. Alright, I'm really gonna end it here. I, I'm definitely, I, I enjoy the world and stuff. I gotta figure out the healing and what I'm doing wrong. Uh, but uh, if you're into this, uh, it is $29.99 on Steam. It's early access. Um, started in March, March 29th. And the reviews are very positive. Like, it seems like it's got a pretty good um, fan base. There's people playing it. You know, I'm playing this Wednesday at like 9 o'clock. And um, so there are people playing it. So uh, I'll definitely be checking it out more um, as it progresses through early access. Maybe I'll pop in after they've patched it a few more times. But uh, yeah, if you got any thoughts on this, if uh, you got. You know how to do first aid. Drop me a comment below. Uh, but I'm gonna do some googling as well. So I want to thank you for watching, everyone, and uh, just have a good night. <laughs>